right, well, good morning. It is the uh, it's the beginning of the third week of season here in West Virginia. Uh, I got to hunt opening day and uh, filled one tag there with Jeff, and then I had to then I've been gone for two weeks. So I told Josh and Zach that I wanted them to both uh, tag out that way. Whenever I got back. Uh, Zach can call me in a bird. <laughs> so uh, I've never uh, I've never killed a turkey down here in southern West Virginia. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a little while, and just haven't got the chance to do it. So I'm excited. I'm on my way right now to meet up with those guys, and uh, we'll go ahead up on the mountain and see if we can't get it done. Uh, regardless of what happens today, I'm. Uh, I'm sure we're we'll having a good time, so here we go. Zach skipped out on us. That's one the first thing I want. Warm legged. Huh? Yeah, he's warm legged for sure. I was all excited that Josh or that Zach was gonna call me in a turkey today. And he won't even answer his text. So we know what he's doing. So I've got uh, some old man behind the camera with glasses on. I'm gonna film <laughs> and I'm gonna try and call and kill my first turkey in southern West Virginia today. So Josh says there's birds here. We'll see. Well, the first spot was very quiet besides the wind howling. So Jay and I, either one, realized that the wind was going to be so bad. So yeah, it was interesting. We're going to have to make an adjustment to get lower. It's a 10 mile an hour west southwest wind so we're gonna get on on x look and see what hollers that, that puts us in on the uh, leeward side so we're gonna make adjustment get down out of this wind try to find a bird might be able to hear something yeah because we can't hear squat back there <laughs> i don't think a bird could have heard you no. 200 yards I don't think so. that's all right we'll find one bubby we'll find one Did. He just popped again. 
talking in my ears. How dare they? All right, so after I heard that bird, after Josh heard the bird, I gave him credit. We moved on him, called again. Still thought he was down in, but the last time he gobbled, it sounded like he was over on this side. So we came on out the road, and we're gonna try and get out in this low gap and locate him again. We think he's pretty hot. Ain't as good as yours. Oh my God. I've been running that flat ground. I've been running nothing but flat ground. Yeah. You was moving a little out through there. I said you was moving coming up through there. all the way out on this point <laughs> and uh, the bird has gone completely silent or we just can't hear him and he can't hear us the last time we heard him we was on the other side of this holler so we thought we had a pretty good location on him and we may have but it don't matter because he's not saying a word so we've decided we're gonna pack up get out of here head back towards the Jeep and try and find another bird that's willing to talk We're coming out of there, and <laughs> Colin has me jacked up. <laughs> oh, he's coming out of there, and Jay just called and tried to strike one on the way out too, just like we did on the way out that point. And we never heard that bird, and I kept on, I told Jay that maybe we passed him up in one of these nooks and crannies or something. He just couldn't hear us. But Jay just struck him again. So we're trying to get a, get him to gobble again so we can get a good location. If the wind would cooperate. How deep you think he is? Like creek deep. <laughs> Caps lock. <laughs> yeah. That's deep. You talk about not having your turkey legs under you? Golly. Sound like two of them, my daughter's two of them. Is that not good enough for you? you? You don't have to call. I'm still not convinced where they are. Oh, they're right here. They're down in there? Yeah. You're sure? They might be around. All right, let's go.
to go in that point right there or stay in the valley field. I'm gonna be like you. I wanna hear them again. <laughs> but I mean, they should come again. We know we can hear them from here. Yeah. If we can figure out where they are, <laughs> we can set that phone. <laughs> That's real knowledge for y'all. I wanted to share that. If I knew where they was at, we'd set up on them. Write that down. I mean, that needs to be put in a book. We got two birds that's answering us, but we're in this holler, and there's points coming off everywhere. The wind's blowing 10 to 15 mile an hour, and they're really jacking with our ears. On, on the location. We're trying to figure them out. Well, we've sat here for a while. And we think these birds have moved a little bit. Now they're not answering us. We did hear a hen. Could be another person. We're not sure. She cut a little bit down there and they gobbled to her. But she's on this other face. We think they've moved to where they can hear her and probably can't even hear us. So... They're way, way off, so we are not going down in there. We're going back to the Jeep, and we're going to go try and find us another bird. And there we go. Jay and I have got out of the wind a little bit, and we've just been running and gunning. And so, Jay got out in his low gap and called struck a bird way out this pointy things but we don't really know because of the wind so we're just gonna work our way out here see if we can't find this bird we're definitely on the leeward side yeah. of, the, of, the, of the mound so they can hear us over there over here
can say. Probably up here in the road above us. fouled up. <laughs> Dude, I'm standing. This is awful. My leg is shaking. <laughs> whatever, whatever fell out of the tree and hit this, foul, just completely screwed us up right there. <laughs> yep. That's not too far. I don't know where he went up. I had my eyes in the screen. <laughs> we still got time to get on another one. Man, why couldn't he just... I knew he was coming here. Yeah. I, when I seen him out there, I was like, man, if he comes right through here, he's... We're good. And then when he got up the hill, I was like, oh, man. Ah, go on it. 
the only reason he went up the hill is because a stick <laughs> fell and hit that. Fell on this old, old gas pipeline. Yeah. Man, that bird was hot, boy. That's the one we was looking for, wasn't it? Yeah, 11 o'clock. That's all right, we still got time. Golly. <sighs> <laughs> hey, my arm, my arm where I was holding it so long, I was shaking, because I couldn't put my, you know how you usually rest your arm on your knee? Couldn't do that, I'm like this. Yes. I kept waiting for you to be like, there he comes, because you can see him before I can. Oh no, I, I had him down there, and I was like, oh, he's crossing the road and going up the hill. Well, chalk up a miss for me. I'm in the same boat as Josh and Zach now. Golly. Dude, he did what, he did what we wanted. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. That bird kind of caught us off guard. We got on the leeward side of the mountain and the wind ain't this bad and Jay struck this bird and we struck him below us. And you all see the flat in the, in the prior footage. But that bird, he didn't travel that flat around. He, he, he angled up the hill like your birds normally do here in the mountains and he popped out on this flat. Well, and I think that he would have fed, <coughs> picked and gobbled all the way to us. But a tree limb fell out and you all can hear it in the video. You can't hear, you can't hear it on that piece of pipe, but a tree limb fell out and hit this old pipe and dinged real bad. You said, that wasn't me. I wanted to tell you <laughs> that that was not me. And it wasn't, that bird didn't gobble after that. And then he started going up the hillside right here. So we still got a couple of hours. We're gonna go try to find one. Well guys, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. Drop us a comment. We love to read those. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and make sure you go to theuntamedhunt.com to get your apparel. We'll see you on the next one.